Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What do you think would be the saving grace for Android for them to, to sure up everything so it is uh, at least on par, in your opinion, with iOS? Uh, you know, they, they really need to maximize user experience, and they've done a great job for uh, those with a hacker mentality. I think Android's great for geeks. Not a problem there. Uh, and, and geeks tend to ignore the uh, finer details, the, uh, the sheen that, say, Apple may put on something. Uh, and that's where the bar has been raised, and I think Google has missed the boat. Uh, they've been iterating at, uh, you know, I would say a frantic pace, and, and rightfully so. Uh, I, and I think that's what gives Google, you know, a large amount of credibility is they're not sitting, or I should say, resting on their laurels. Um, you know, if anything, Google needs to take the idea of uh, creating their own experience more seriously. Uh, they, they've got control of the operating system, but unless they have a, a much more granular control over that hardware, there's no possible way. You could spec that thing out the wazoo. It mm. could be 14 times as fast as, let's say, the iPad, and it's still going to be irrelevant. Mm. It's not about specs. It's not about spe I've been wrong about this before. I once thought it was about specs, but it's not iOS almost gives you the uh, the illusion, and I know it's meticulously planned to look, appear this way, but the illusion that it's organic to me. Mm -hmm. It's uh, pervasive, and technology that's invasive, that reminds you that it's technology, is a big fat failure. This mm -hmm. is why uh, Logitech, uh, I, I think, has uh, really failed on a lot of fronts, specifically with their software. Their hardware has always been amazing. But their software experiences have been lackluster for God, I can't even remember how long. Uh, you know that that type of company is is going to you know, I think find its way to the sidelines real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, you know we demand more as users, uh, not just for stability but for a, a beautiful experience. You know I had this argument. This this will date me. I had this argument with uh, Outlook versus Lotus Notes a decade uh, ago. Uh, you know, oh, Lotus Notes is a more powerful database. I was like, you know what? Uh, that It may be a more powerful database, but it looks like ass. And if there's <laughs> if one thing that I have to use day in and day out, I, I don't want to look at an ass. I, I really don't. It's just not my thing. So, you know, now uh, I think consumers expect that. They expect a, a, a better experience. And, you know, if a company does not have an experience in their uh, crosshairs, they're missing the boat. It ain't mm. about specs. And I, you know, I've, I've mentioned this before. I'll probably sound like a, a broken record. And that will date me, too, because I used to have actual records. Um, <laughs> the, uh, you know, that, that experience is, is paramount. And, you know, our attention span, and I, I'll, you know, be one you know, that, that's a part of it, uh, you know, is, is becoming increasingly shorter. Uh, our patience is, is, is incredibly short. Uh, and, you know, companies have to certainly be aware of this and realize that they have to navigate these waters with increasing amounts of precision uh, if they expect their brand to survive a, a, a slaughter. And, and, and certain brands have been slaughtered uh, from the community, you know, seven ways from Sunday. Uh, and, and they tend to, these companies tend to ignore it, but it'll catch up to them.